Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video for you today that will show you how to create a newsletter in MailChimp. Once you're done watching the video, you can go check MailChimp out via a link in the description below. So that will take you through to a free trial version of the software then. Completely free for you to try on us. So make sure to check that out after you've watched the video. And today we'll be creating a newsletter very quickly, give you a quick overview of how it all works. And... Yeah, I mean, once you log in, this will be the dashboard that you see, and you can get at this function a couple of ways. You can go create, you can create a campaign right here. The newsletter is going to come in the form of a campaign for us, okay, today, just so you know. And if you go to campaigns, you can also get a create campaign button right here. So when you create a campaign, we're just going to choose a regular email for that. And, you know, and for this case, it's just going to be, you know, building a newsletter with with regards to what you want in there in terms of content and images and making sure that your social media links and everything like that are linked up. So it'll take a little bit of time to do, but it is very intuitive, very self-explanatory. So every element that you click appears here on the left-hand side as a menu. And then when you click things like text, you'll also get a toolbar appear at the top here. So menu on the left, toolbar on the top. And yeah, it works very similar to something like Weebly, if you've ever used that. So you've got these elements here on the left and you can drag and drop them in. You can't place them exactly in the interface. Um, however, you can kind of decide in, in which order that they rank compared to the other elements. So for example, if you want to put something in between um, those two, then you can just drop it as so. So yeah, it's very simple. It's very similar to like a mobile app or something like that. You can choose from some preset layouts if you've got you know something in mind, like three images and a bit of text underneath or something like that, you know, so you've got uh, that tab to explore as well. Styles will allow you to alter the color of everything. Um, so, you know, everything's set to black by default. Templates, then you've got some free templates built in. However, when you go to see more templates, then that's where you reach the paywall. Um, so a lot of these templates are, you know, some of them are quite expensive, but uh, all very good, you know. So check them out as well for some inspiration at the very least, if you're not wanting to part with your money. And, um, you know, like I said, some of these you can utilize then for free as well. So check some of them out, look at how they've been structured and think about, you know, how you want yours to kind of cascade, really. You, you might want to kind of strip it back a little bit and delete all these elements and start from scratch or, you know, so have a little play around. And once you're happy with how your newsletter looks and you've got it all linked up and working, you can go save and exit at the top right hand corner. And this is where then you would decide who that campaign goes to. So if you've not done so before um, creating the newsletter, one thing that you'd need to do is add an audience, as it's referred to in MailChimp, um, but it's, it's basically like a list of contacts. Um, so when you do so, you just go to add your contacts and you can either import, upload or copy and paste. And you also then can go to all contacts under the audience tab, go to add contacts here, add a subscriber, and then you can do so manually via this form. Um, so email address is the only thing that's required and you can add the in other information as an option. However, once you've done that, we're back in the form and then you can click um, at, back in the uh, newsletter. Sorry, I saw the word form there. You can add a form to it. Um, you can add a subject to it, which will dictate what appears in your recipient's inbox when they receive the message or your, your newsletter. Content we've already taken care of. You can preview it by single clicking it. Um, and you can send a test email as well. Um, there's a little link to do so underneath that little preview right there. You can share it on your social media campaigns. You can generate a custom URL. And um, once you've kind of gone through that sequence of things, all you need to do is press send in the top right hand corner and that message will go out. So that concludes the tutorial. Like I said, there's a link to uh, MailChimp down in the description if you want to check that out for absolutely free. and. As well, before I end the video, I'd actually uh, like to mention as well that I've left a link in the description below for a, a software that can rank your website instantly by using videos. So this might be very interesting to the viewer who's looking for more traffic and sales to their website. So make sure that you check that out if that's something that you think you need. So thanks very much for joining us. And um, if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of this nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.